So Brave has two distinct components. Um, the first one of these is the Brave browser, which is a next generation web browser with a wallet built in. And the second part of this is the Brave ad platform. So the Brave ad platform sits in the browser, um, but it's quite a new concept. So a Brave user, if they choose to, if they opt in, can opt into Brave ads and they will earn based on their retention. So you'll get paid to watch ads, which is quite a new concept. The move towards privacy is driven by users. Um, browsers are just responding to demand from, 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 from the public at large. Um, so we see this as being a, a positive trend. Um, and it, it's a chance for users to take back control of their data. Um, and it's just a case of rebalancing. Things have got a little bit too, too loose, where, where personal information is getting sprayed around the web. And we see there is a, a rebalancing where people are taking back control. And not just browsers, but right across the, the, the entire kind of web um, there are tools emerging that are giving users the chance to just take back that control in, in a constructive way. So Web 3.0 is an interesting term. Um, it's still evolving and it's still being defined. Um, the way I personally look at it is it's, it's the, the web of value. You know, Web 1.0 was the web of information over 25 years ago. Web 2.0 was this interactive web with your search, uh, e-commerce and, and other functionality like that. But the web of value is the ability of users to transact small amounts with each other or, or indeed large amounts. Um, so that there is a, a, a native uh, a payment system within the web that enables a whole myriad of new transactions. So that's web 3.0. What does that mean for um, uh, digital advertising and in particular the OTT space? Um, this, this ties into uh, my earlier point that uh, you know, users are uh, moving towards privacy. Users are taking back control of their data. So you as a user, if you, if you own your data, uh, you want to be able to monetize that. It becomes an asset. So this is a big shift in user behavior. Your, your personal information is an asset. You will choose who to share it with, and you will choose if, it's, if you can monetize it, and that might play, play a part in it. So, so that's a big, you know, a, a big shift. Um, on top of that, um, it, it opens up a new type of advertising. If you're paying somebody and engaging with somebody to interact with your ads, your ads can become interactive becomes less of a passive medium and something that the right person interacting in the right way will be rewarded uh, substantially you know, for, for that or rewarded to a certain degree for, 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 their, for their time and their, their attention. Um, and then this brings up the last point which is really important is incentivizing the right behavior and disincentivizing the wrong behavior. If people are going to earn small amounts for their attention or sometimes maybe larger amounts, whatever it might be, making sure it's the right person and what you're rewarding is producing real value um, for, for, for the user, but particularly for the advertiser and for the platform as a whole.